Let's see some puffins. Show me the puffin, baby! Show me the puffin, baby! Show me the puffin, baby! Yeah, baby! We're Tyson and Rosa, plus Dixie and Lola. And we are traveling North America in our converted Ford Transit van. This week we join you from Newfoundland, a.k.a. The Rock. Hopefully. Well, everyone that goes there sees them. Okay, so these guys love bananas, and every time Rosa grabs one, they're front row center. Because they know that they have claim to one third of my banana. <laughs> it's written in the accords, in the pug banana accords of 2019. So basically, it goes a bite for me, a bite for them. <laughs> A bite for me. A bite for them. Amazing. And then there's been like a few times where we've been on vacation or whatever and the dogs weren't with us. And I would be eating a banana and I would be so sad not to be sharing my banana with them. <laughs> All right, friends. We're here at the Puffin viewing site. We are going to go and we are going to leave the dogs here. It is sunny, but very nice in the van. So we just took them for a little walk so that we can just leave them here because we do not want them chasing the puffins away and barking at them, which is highly likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to disturb the animals with the animals. Yeah, we don't want to disturb the animals with the animals. But luckily they got the bed, the water, basically everything they could ever want in here. Except oh, yeah. for puffins. Do you think that um, puffins eat Fruit Loops? Uh, probably if you gave it to them, which we would never do. I didn't even bring any Fruit Loops. Yeah, it's hard to see because they're so small on camera, but they're so cute. Oh, they're amazing looking birds. It's cool because they're so different. Um, but they're a lot smaller than I thought that they were going to be. Yeah, they're really little. At first I couldn't even see them um, through the binoculars, but then once I kind of knew what I was looking for, it was really easy to pick them out. They flap their wings really fast. They're like bats almost. Yeah, if you're looking so at fast. them without the binoculars, then it almost looks like they're bats. But when you look at them up close, they're so adorable. Yeah. So, so what do you think about skipping our hike and doing that tomorrow and just going to our campsite, cooking some dinner and just chilling? Sounds good to me. I'm not in any rush. Okay, because the spot that I want to go to apparently is really good for whale watching and you can see more puffins, so it would be cool just to spend more time there, I think. I like those too. I like those. Yes. And we'll do something epic for dinner. <laughs> So 
So we just pulled up to our spot for the evening. Uh, one other friendo there. But we've already seen some whales. They're really far away though. Yeah. We can see some closer, but we can see the um, like the big fish spurts of water. Yeah, big spouts. Oh yeah, there's so many over there. That's I'm gonna crazy. bring up my sweater. Tyson's talking about how he wants a long camera lens. No, I said this is, would be cool. I'm happy with the camera lens I have now. I traded in my SLR for a good, really nice phone. And that's nice. But I'm saying it would be nice to have a big lens and then you can... Because there's spouts, like, at all times there's like at least four spouts from whales and they keep popping up all along this whole horizon. And you can see them. I saw a tail. I've seen some, some movement, but it's far away too far away that I can't tell what kind of whales they are, and no one's jumping up, which I know that's extremely rare, and we got very lucky when we saw the orcas doing that. Yeah, we're, now we're spoiled. We're spoiled. This guy's so close. Hey, what are you doing? What are you at? What are you at there, by? Like, are they gonna fight my dogs? Yeah, the, the dogs are going back to the van. I'm not, you're not going to attack me. You're so cute. Get away from me. Go on, go on and get. I ain't going to pet you. <laughs> well, that's not my backup. Backup's way too far away. She's all the way over there. This guy's right here. Nope. Not another inch. You are so majestic. Look at you. Wow. What kind of dog are you? <laughs> no. Hey. Okay. I've seen this before. I've. No. Okay. So when I said I'm that we should have an epic dinner, it did not end up happening because it's just so nice out there. It's already like 8.30, so I don't want to cook now and then end up eating at like 9.30. So this is my dinner. Vector cereal with some oat milk. Mmm. As you can see, I have a beautiful view of the sunset. And I can just cuddle my girls while Tyson's outside. Checking out whales and watching the sunset. But the girls were just being really fussy and we saw some foxes and I just didn't want them out there. So... It's just cuddle time with the girlies. Babe, have I got a surprise for you. What? Pop. Why would you get me pop? Because it's different. Oh, what kind of different? Crushed pineapple. <whistles> wow. Fuel in Newfoundlander since I don't know how long. And crush birch beer. What do you choose? It's 11.30 somewhere. It's 11.30 here, but I haven't had breakfast. I'm fueled only on coffee and pug kisses right now. Pretty cool. We don't drink pop ever. So this is the only time we're going to drink pop or buy pop. Maybe this year. Ah, feel the crush. It's sweet. It's really sweet. All right, how about a sip of this crushed pineapple? Well, I can't not try it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get diabetes. <laughs> what do you got here? Oh. Yeah, cereal for dinner last night and breakfast this morning. Mm -mm -mm. I just wanna let you know that if you do not finish that whole pop, I am not gonna be mad at you for wasting it. You do not have to drink that. It's all about the experience. It's all about how it makes me feel. But know? does it make you feel good? Oh, woo! He's going to be yippee. He's going to be bouncing off the walls. You should see two coffee Tyson. He is a lot to take. I don't want to see one coffee and one pineapple pop Tyson. A lot to take and a lot to give.
Now that Tyson's all hopped up on pineapple pop, we're gonna burn some energies on the Skirwink Trail. It's pretty breathtaking so far. How's it going, babe? Good. How's it going, Pug? Really good. Good. We don't let Lola do stairs or inclines, really. How you doing, babe? I'm terrified. I'm, I don't know, for some reason, like, sometimes I'm more petrified of heights than others. The hike we did the other day, I wasn't like this, but today, like, I'm like, I feel so sick to my stomach. I'm so nervous. I'm so afraid. And I'm not just afraid for my safety. Every time Tyson goes near the edge, I am petrified. That's our spot for the night. We got a great view. We are parked outside of this lighthouse kind of area. I'm going to go do the walk, check it out. There's some cool stuff to see, some military history. My anxiety was peaking so hard on the trail because I'm petrified of heights. Now I'm completely drained. I feel like I have no energy. And luckily I have an amazing husband who is making a meal of my choice. And it's random, but I'm excited. They're like breaded tofu bites. So I got like a dredging station going. So I got my dusted tofu. I'm dredging it with a flax egg and then some of these breadcrumbs and praying. <laughs> the first batch is ready. So Tyson's letting me sneak a bite. Describe this uh, dish here, mister. All right, we have a gluten-free panko crusted bean curd, AKA tofu. I like to call it bean meat. Um, the panko uh, is herbed and then the final project product is dusted with some garlic, salt, and nutritional yeast. And then on the side for dipping, we have a lovely sun-dried tomato infused Dijonese. Mm-mm. They're pretty good, eh? Mm-hmm. It is. Look at that. Look at that. Cause I'm a junk food vegan. You don't always have to eat healthy as long as Dixie approves. Well, that's all for this week, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.